I'm lucky to travel a lot and I have been studying African plants for a long time. Consequently, it's not often that I get to encounter a new African plant, especially one as remarkable as this, for the very first time. But here I am in the middle of Boma National Park in South Sudan, an utterly remarkable place. And this is the first time I have ever encountered this tree, Nuclea latifolia. How's it guys? I'm Gus the African Plant Hunter. I am in a new country for me, in a new place for me, and this is a new tree for me. New to me, but very well known to the people in this area. This is the home to the Murle. They are a pastoralist cattle herding community, originally from Ethiopia, came here to this boma on the very east of South Sudan uh, hundreds of years ago, and they've been living here. And they have themselves independently discovered something that scientists have also discovered about this incredible tree. But let me first introduce you to the hero of our story, which is locally hereabouts known as Dunkolon. Nuclea latifolia, it's in the Rubiaceae family, the coffee family. It's got uh, these opposite leaf arrangements and this fruit that looks just like a golf ball on the outside, doesn't look like a golf ball on the inside. It kind of looks like a strawberry inside with all those little small seeds. It is eaten, a uh, very popular fruit, although it tends to be full of little grubs. Uh, so you just have to kind of close your eyes and munch away at it, but it's very tasty if you do. But the really interesting thing about this is the medicinal value of this tree in the roots particularly, although I'm sure it's all over. So locally here, they use it, they eat the fruit if you're feeling a little bit um, unwell and you need to boost, and that's not surprising because it's very high in vitamin C. Uh, extremely high actually, around 300 milligrams per 100 grams, which is a very uh, strong concentration, uh, sort of similar to baobab and some of the other high vitamin C fruits. So yeah, that's definitely going to help you if you're feeling a bit crook. Scientists have indeed discovered an indole alkaloid called strictosamine. And strictosamine, which is found in this and a few other plants in the Rubiaceae family, is very effective against malaria. It's also effective against trypanosomes. It's an anti-inflammatory and has a wide range of uses. And the traditional use here amongst the murle is for malaria treatment. Uh, it's very hot, it's quite dry here, but we're also on the edge of the sud. So during the rainy season, right now I'm in the dry season and it's dry, but in the rainy season, there's lots of water around. So there's lots of mosquitoes and malaria is a very real problem. And the treatment for malaria, there are several different plants that they use, but one of the most effective and indeed backed up by science is this one right here in the root bark is where you find the highest concentration. That's completely normal because of course, medicinal compounds in a plant form part of the plant's defenses. And uh, that's why they're there in the first place, defenses against predation. And the root is of course where they are most vulnerable. So that's why you'll find the highest concentration of active medicinal ingredients on in many instances are found in the root bark. So that is my little quick overview of this extraordinary tree, which I'm really, really, really excited to be seeing. Not just excited to be seeing this tree, but excited to be in this extraordinary place that very, very few people ever get to visit. South Sudan as a country has only existed for 15 years. I think 2026 will be its 15th birthday. And unfortunately, there's been a lot of disruption during that time. So uh, it hasn't had a smooth ride of it and not a lot of people get to come here. I am one of the lucky ones that have been able to come here and I am thrilled and delighted to be able to share it with you. 
All right, guys, that's it. There will be more. I'm going to be here for the next few weeks doing an ethnobotanic survey, looking at different plants. So I will definitely share some more of those with you. But this is the first one coming out of Boma National Park. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, keep watching on uh, African Plant Hunter, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. And if you really like what I do and you want to support me, you can do that by going to my Patreon page, patreon.com forward slash African Plant Hunter. I'd really appreciate it. Doesn't cost you more than a cup of coffee a month to support me. And it really makes a big difference. All right, guys. I'm off to check out another tree here in Boma. The sun is rising. It's getting very hot. You can probably see the sweat on me. I will catch you later. Take it easy. Bye.